Welcome to this walkthrough of the Caller Time module which is available in Legacy StrutCalc, StrutCalc Plus, and StrutCalc Pro. It is important to note at the beginning that this walkthrough is not the Legacy StrutCalc Caller Tie. Due to differences in the calculations, you should always use the newest version of StrutCalc for design purposes. For more information on why, please contact technical support if you have questions. All modules in StrutCalc follow the standard design process, with properties on the left, the design window in the center, design information on the bottom. Output will appear on the right hand of the screen, along with adequacy information on the bottom. In this special case, this module actually designs three modules at once, two roof rafters connected by a hinge and a collar tie beam. LRFD and ASD design is available. Here you can also select wet or dry factors. The first step is to design the collar tie. Just as a normal beam, select the material, species, and grade. Then design the size, and the on-center spacing of the collar ties. Then adjust the height of the collar tie in regards to the distance of the center of the collar tie to the peak of the roof rafters. Set the distance between walls, which is the second hash mark from both the left and right side of the design. Select your fasteners, either nails or screws. You can then apply bracing to the bottom of the rafters, this would model sheetrock or plywood on the bottom of the rafters, making them fully braced. Next is the design of the two rafters. They have the same design criteria but can be much different if desired. These are designed just like regular roof rafters. The assembly section is just three different design scenarios common to all beams. Then you can set the deflection criteria. The calculators are all easy ways to calculate and add loads and are covered in their own walkthrough video. Load the design. Struck supports uniform loads, trapezoidal loads, point loads, moments, and length loads. These loads can be applied in only the vertical direction. Linked loads are covered in their own walkthrough video. There is a load view that shows a planned view of the collar tie with the applied loads and the supports. Note that the hinge support cannot be changed. There is no auto size for collar tie due to its complexity. So after calculating inspection of any failed adequacies and adjustments based on that information will be required to complete a past design. Now that I design has passed, I will open the print preview to view my output and customize it for future printouts as part of my project. I can select diagrams and different views here that will be saved and print as selected when doing a print project later. Thank you for watching this walkthrough of Collar Ties in StrutCalc.